As soon as a boat enters the water, organisms start to grow on the hull, drastically affecting performance. For centuries, toxic paints known as anti-fouling have been the only solution. These paints need to be reapplied every year. They're expensive, they're ineffective, and they still need regular cleaning by divers. Worse still, they're extremely harmful to the environment. I'm Tom Lerfler, Holbot's CEO. We've designed and built a fleet of low-cost underwater robots which inspect and clean hulls. Underwater robotics is difficult. There's no radar, LiDAR or GPS. Over five generations of working prototypes, we've developed sophisticated software that lets the robot know where it is and what it needs to do. During Startmate, a 12-person team has done over 70 missions to over 40 different boats. We're launching a cleaning service right now, which will generate 1 million ARR within 12 months. With each mission, our robot gets more efficient until we deliver a world with no anti-fouling paint where hulls are always clean. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying today. Uh, my name is Matt and I've been a part of the squad with the uh, whole block crew and this is Tom. Hey Tom. G'day Matt, how are you going? Excellent. So tell us, why is a clean hull, hull important? Well, for racing yachts, you simply need it to be competitive and ideally the hull is cleaned right before the race. And for power boats, you can use easily 20% more fuel and that means if you're a commercial vessel like a ship or a ferry, you're using 20 bit more fuel per hour. You're right. So is it only for yachts or can it do all kinds of boats? Yeah, of course. Um, all, all vessels of all sizes use anti-fouling and they all suffer from the same problems with efficiency. And we're starting with yachts right here in Sydney. Right. So how many yachts are there in Sydney Harbour? Um, it's 12,000. How many yachts are there around the world? There are 10 million recreational hulls greater than 10 metres in length stored on water worldwide. Awesome. And what does it cost to keep those boats clean? So a 50-foot yacht in Sydney can be spending easily 12000 a year on anti-fouling paint and hull clean by divers. Hmm. So if somebody had a hull bot on their boat and it was cleaned every day, what's the actual impact of that? Right, so for a start, they won't need any anti-fouling paint ever. So Holbot will save them thousands of dollars in lifting and painting costs every single year and be much better for the environment. And their hull will be perfectly clean every single day. Awesome. This feels like it's a bit of a game changer. So what else can it do? Is it just hull cleaning? Yeah, so our first product is a hull cleaning system. And that's based around a low cost autonomous underwater drone platform. So we've developed a camera based localization and navigation. And alongside cleaning, we also do autonomous inspections and generate accurate 3D maps. So our, yes, our technology has diverse applications to commercial ships, aquaculture, and many other industries. That's awesome. So, um... I know you're raising a million bucks and you've already got half of that yeah. covered from your existing investors. That's awesome. Yeah. What's the next year and a half look like? Well, we'll be all over Sydney Harbour cleaning boats with our fleet of under robots. We'll be gathering a ton of really valuable data and improving our software every week. And we'll build our first 100 production robots and they'll be out there cleaning hulls every day within 18 months. Awesome. And after that, what's next? After we've built uh, the first low-cost underwater drone platform, yeah. Well, um, uh, underwater DJI disruption, uh, massive global scale, all the things. What's cool. And uh, where can everyone else catch you um, online and after? You can check us out at at holbot.com and come and see me in the booth. And looking forward to talking to you all. Enjoying awesome. demo day. Thanks, guys. Yes, Dave. We're heading over yes. to Ulu next.